three last week. There's been, there's been a change of manager. And I suppose for some players it's a good thing, for some it's a bad. It's definitely probably been a good thing for you. Yeah, definitely. Um, I started right through football, isn't it? Like, um, obviously, I wasn't in favour with the last manager, and um, obviously Sam's come in, and um, I have been in favour. So yeah, it's been good for me, obviously, but it's never nice to see anyone lose a job. But um, that's football. How many times has that happened to you in the past where you've changed manager mid-season? Um, no, it's not too many for me to be honest. Uh, maybe three or four. Well, I don't see too much these days, but um, yeah, probably three or four times. Um, and I've been quite lucky that the change of manager has always been all right for me. But um, like I say, it have a big impact on a player. You came pretty early this season. As a player, do you get a sense that that change might be about to happen? Um, yeah. It's a hard one, obviously, it's quite early. Um, for Martin, but maybe it was a bit of a carry on from obviously last season's results. But um, I, th I do think you get a general feel around the place, um, and obviously on match days with atmospheres and stuff like that. But um, yeah, so it's always a bit of a shot when it does happen. It's been quite a big change as well in the start formation of play, and for you personally, from in the past playing in the defence to now playing in the midfield, how do you think you've adapted? Yeah, I've enjoyed it. Um, I do like how Sam wants to try and play football, which I think suits me. Um, to think about the game quite a bit of how he wants how he wants to play so um, it's actually benefited me a lot but um, yeah I think we've all enjoyed it and um, the more we work work on it the more we will get better with it and be successful I think. I'm sure you'd be aware that one of the criticisms of lots of the supporters have had in the last couple of years is about a lack of creativity in midfield. Do you think the three that are playing in there at the minute can bring a little bit more creativity to the side? Yeah, yeah I'd like to think so um, and obviously that comes with a style of play as well um, if the manager is encouraging you to play through the lines and get the midfield on the ball and wingers coming off the line, it, it, it's not just the midfield that do that. Obviously, the midfield can keep ticking it over, but it comes from all, all over that. Um, and I think, like I say, the more we work on it, like I said there, it's, it's, um, it's going to be a lot more creative. A fortnight off. Is that a blessing maybe when you get a new manager coming in or a bit of a hindrance because you want to keep playing every week? Yeah, I, I, we'd have liked it to be on last week because I think uh, we're in a decent run of form and performance has been alright so it would have been good to carry it on but like I say, advantage as well that Sam can get some more of his ideas over and um, we can work on it a lot more in training. We've had a hard two weeks and hopefully we'll see the benefit of it Saturday. And when you look at the National Hotel, I know it's early days and you've got a game in hand but already to have a 13 point gap mm. to the top, are you, are you surprised at that and how well Chorley have started this season? Yeah, of course, they're flying aren't they? I think won every game bar bar one which I drew, which is fair play to him, but um, we're, we're definitely not out of it yet. It's obviously get we need to win games but um you like to, I can't see Chorley obviously keeping up that momentum, it's a ridiculous run but um fair do to him but like I say it's uh, we're not panicking just yet. Um I think we just keep getting wins on the board, picking up points, and uh, we'll be there or thereabouts. We spoke with Sam about Kidderminster last year. We all know how well they passed it. About changing manager, maybe slightly mm. more direct this season. What do you remember from those games last season, and what do you think? How do you think you can hurt them? Yeah, last season I, f I thought they, were, they played really well every time against us. Um, I think maybe we respect them a little bit too much. We sat off quite quite a lot and uh, turned the ball over a bit too easy. But um, we've watched quite a bit of on on video this season of them. They still do play, still they look to mix it up a bit more, but they've got good players. Um, played against a few, I played with Dan Bradley years ago back at half, and he's a really good player. And um, like I say, if we don't get it right, they can hurt us, but we've also looked at ways we can exploit them. Talk to us about how those sessions go then when you're watching the videos. Are you, are you all encouraged to speak up if you see something, or is it sort of like watch 30 seconds, pause, and we'll have a chat about what we've seen? Yeah, it's very much a group thing. Um, obviously, Sam will lead it and you get clips of uh, different situations. You think we can obviously uh, hurt Kidderminster in certain sections, what they do really well, which we've got counteract. And like I say, everyone's talking through it, he asks opinions, and like I say, so everyone understands what we want from it and how we're going to do it. Brilliant. Well, Damien, thank you. You're on set pieces now, Josh. Callum yeah. Griffiths obviously doing well before with mm. corners and free kicks. Does that keep a bit of pressure on you to keep delivering as well as yeah, you are? Yeah, of course, yeah. Obviously, Cal. Like I say, have got great delivery from set pieces and um, obviously with myself playing midfield or maybe a bit further up to go to either side as well and um, obviously gives Cal's legs a bit of a rest but yeah, yeah like I say, definitely the quality's got to be higher with them because obviously Cal was delivering great balls. Yeah, and you're comfortable with that responsibility you've done it in the past? Yeah, yeah, generally took them 
when I've played for whichever team I've played, so I'm used to taking them. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I don't mind it. Yeah. yeah. Good options when you're looking up and you've got that ball, that ball. Definitely, yeah. We've got, we've got some big lads in the team. Um, we've been working quite a lot of set pieces to try and try and um, score more goals from. To be honest, yeah. which like I said, I think Carl's delivery was really good early in the season. We weren't quite. Like, Tate scored ahead of sorry, but. Um, like I say we thought we could exploit that more with the height we've got in the team. Yeah, the start of the season when you weren't in the squad or you were in the first eleven, did, did you ever feel your future lay elsewhere? Oh, of course, yeah. Yeah, yeah like I say, um, I think it's pretty black and white. I worked for obviously Martin, but mm -hmm. um, like I say, change of manager, it changed everything and mm -hmm. um, the way Sam wants to play uh, obviously suits, suits me a lot. and. Um, so hopefully we can do well for him and um, go from there. Yeah. Did you come close to leaving at all? Was it the interest from other teams? Um, yeah, I had interest, but um, obviously nothing that uh, was quite right. Um, and obviously, <laughs> at the end of the day, it's got to be right for you. I've got a young family, and I could have just leave a contract to go somewhere else, yeah. and maybe be worse off financially. It might sound a bit no, stupid, sure. but like I say it's this level of football. It's realistic and. I had a family to look after, but yeah. I fully feel if I play for York City and how we're playing now, it can be a big benefit for us. Yeah. Okay.